So your session there was talking about, that was kind of your hot sauce principle. Um, That's right. And you were kind of talking about the demands that are put on teams and what good leaders, managers, um, how they have to operate. And um, I got to talk to two guys in the back of the room, both of them. One was a manager of a store in Washington State. The other was uh, Richmond, Virginia. Um, Both of them had been managers of their stores for some time, a couple years. And um, we were talking, the the guy from Richmond, he was super cool. He was a a former um, police officer who was now in charge of a team. And I think he said he had eight team members. And he really, both of the guys, both of the guys talked um, really how they were invested in coaching their people. Mm -hmm. And they were really uh, excited to learn the best ways to do that and best practices. So they were really engaged in, in your talk and they were, talking about it and um, you know and one of them shared um, his frustration that he had a team member that he said I I've been working with him I've been coaching him I'm trying to encourage him well how about you try it this way I don't want you to do this I'm trying to set an example I'm trying to get him to change I'm but he's just not doing it and he and I'm just kind of frustrated I, I don't know what I'm doing wrong I don't know what um, I should do next and I don't want to fire the guy because that's his livelihood. Like this, this manager was really taking it on personally. Like this is this guy's livelihood, and I don't want to take it away. And so it really brought to my mind that's a real quandary. So I thought that's a great question to ask Brandon. Like, what would your advice be to somebody like that? How, when mm-hmm. my my kind of question was, when do you know? it's time to find a new spot for that person? Or when do you know it's time for them to move on? When do you know it's time to fire them? Kind of what's your, when you're coaching people, what's your what's your So I love how you're telling the story because you can tell the guy, it was a heavy burden on he him. He cared, he really cared. And when you're carrying a heavy burden, you have to ask yourself, should I be the one carrying this burden? Mm. And so here's where I'm going with that. Right. As another a client of mine told me last year as I was coaching her, and we talked about kind of navigating some of the stuff and she paused for a minute and she said, it always comes back to author editor, doesn't it? Mm. Yep, folks, it always does. So here you have a person, this leader who really cares deeply and is trying to author the perfect solution. Right. And trying to navigate how to kind of not only get this person to step up, but also caring for their family and give them their livelihood and they're carrying the entire burden. Sounds kind of ridiculous when you hear me say it out loud, right? Right. Like, that's not their responsibility. That's that person's responsibility. And so as a reminder for us, the traits of the author. So remember, this leader is authoring for this other person. This That other person should be taking an authorship role in their life. When we author, we do three things. We take ownership, we show initiative, and we display critical thinking. We take ownership, we show initiative, display critical thinking. That leader needs to flip to be an editor. And the way they do that And remember, the first job of the editor is they set expectations. Mm -hmm. They have the conversation. They should sit down. My counsel would be sit down with that employee and say, let's call the employee Joe. Say, hey, Joe, you've been working here for, do you know how long it was? I don't. Let's say six months. Let's say under a year. Let's say six months. Joe, you've been working here six months. And you you and I have had a lot of coaching conversations around performance. But but to be honest with you, I'm a little frustrated because I, I really need you to step up to this level. And, and for whatever reason, you seem to be hesitant to do that. Mm. And I don't know what to do. If this continues, this just isn't gonna be a good fit for you. But I'm very concerned about your livelihood and your family. And I, wanna, I want this to be a great place for you to not only feel like you're making a difference, but it also is meeting all your financial needs. But I'm frankly stuck. I, I'm not really sure how to get you there. And if we can't get you there, you're gonna need to find another home. That doesn't need to happen tomorrow or the next day, but I really want to spend some time today thinking together on what do you need to really get you operating at the level that we've been trying to get you to operate at. Just have the honest conversation. So at that point, do you set up, um, you know, a goal date? Do you set up goals? Do you set up deadlines? Do you set up like benchmark dates? What do you? Yeah, but I would go one before you do that. Remember, you know, you're in the proper author editor relationship as a leader. Mm-hmm. when your direct report brings you something to react to. Right. So as long as Joe says, I don't know, what do you think I need to do? Mm. And the leader takes the bait and writes the plan, 
There's no ownership. There's no, no initiative. There's no critical thinking. Joe didn't do anything. Joe just said, what do you think you need me to do? And then you wrote the plan. They're not bought in. So first step is, Joe, let's talk about it today, but I want you to think about it over the weekend. Come back to me and say, and just give me either, either write a plan down or have some ideas that we can talk about. Bring me something. Okay, so you... Joe needs to bring something to start it. And okay. if Joe brings nothing... Joe, I noticed you didn't bring anything. And and it, it makes me think that either you just don't know and you're uncertain or this you're just not ready to commit to this place. Mm. Um, and, and if that's the case, then maybe we need to think about transitioning sooner. So then now, now we go from author editor to hot sauce. Yeah. Now we create a little urgency. And one of the ways we create urgency is kind of worst case scenario, right? Worst case scenario is, hey Joe, you're gonna be unemployed here pretty soon. And you gotta put a, a, a time on the calendar to make urgency happen. You can't just say sometime in the future. You can say, right. Joe, it looks like maybe if we can't figure this out by the end of this month, this is gonna have to be the transition point for us. So we've got until the end of this month to get a plan in place and get you working on it. Otherwise, we're gonna have to have that conversation and I really don't wanna have it. <laughs>